Hello and welcome to Gush Eyes Gaming. My name is Ice Cream Time and I will be your Gush Eyes Gamer. Before we get started, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe to my channel and click that bell to become a good gamer and get all those important notifications of when new videos are uploaded. So, today we are going to be playing Doom. Yes, this is the 2016, I believe it's the newest Doom. Um, and this is going to be my first time playing any Doom game that's ever come out. So I'm really excited about this because this is, you know, my first time playing any Doom game ever. I've heard great things about the series all the way from, I think the first one came out, uh, I believe there was a Doom for N64, I'm not 100% on that, don't quote me on that, uh, but I believe it's that old and... You know, and I, I know that there's a huge fan base for it. There was a movie with The Rock. I don't even think I've seen the movie. So that is literally how new I am to this. So this is a complete blind playthrough of the 2016 Doom. And I will be playing this on... what What is, what is that called? It is called... Hurt Me Plenty. Which, uh, looks like, you know, kind of like the medium setting. All I've done so far with this game is I did one practice. If you go over to the multiplayer and you go to practice mode, I did do one practice mode just to understand the mechanics. Uh, you know, the melees, reloading, uh, there's a, a second attachment for your guns, things like that just so that I don't come right out of the gate not knowing what the hell I'm doing and you guys just watching and laughing at me fam. <laughs> Alright, so without further ado, let's jump in. Hurt me plenty. Whoa! There's actually other difficulties. See, I, I actually, I never even hit that uh, start campaigns button yet. I thought it would literally just start the campaign right away. Okay, so there is a nightmare. Combat is a knife edge. One mistake can be the difference between living and a gruesome death. There are no tutorials. Well, you know, I'm brand new. I'm going to need them tutorials. And then ultra nightmare. Whoops. This is a nightmare with one major adjustment. If you die, your campaign is over. And a death marker will be left behind as a reminder of how far you progressed. You can save your campaign upon completing a mission and dying or failing in a rune trial will not affect your progress. Okay, so this this is like survival mode. This is, you get like one chance. Okay, so let's actually check a look at these other difficulties and see what we're going to go with here. So we got I'm too young to die, which I'm guessing is the easy mode. Select this difficulty if you prefer a more relaxed gaming experience. When entering combat, you will have a high chance of success while not without its challenges. This difficulty should help keep your blood pressure in check. Yeah, sounds too easy for me. Hurt me plenty. Choose this difficulty if you want to play the game without any adjustments. You will need a balance of focus, aggression, and fearlessness to ensure your survival. So it sounds like this is kind of how they made the game there's no adjustments it's literally like boom here you go this is how we made the game so what's ultra violence then ultra violence for players who want a challenge this will test your awareness and reflexes with your path to success determined by choosing the right tool for the job there will be fewer tutorials huh Okay guys, I have decided to go with Hurt Me Plenty after uh, looking between the Hurt Me Plenty and the Ultra Violence. Only based on one real factor and that's that there's fewer tutorials in the Ultra Violence which kind of, uh, I don't like that because I have no idea how to play this game at all. I have no idea how everything's going to go. So I want the tutorial. So I'm probably just going to start on Hurt Me Plenty if I notice that the game, like I'm don't need the tutorials anymore and if I notice that the game's getting pretty basic you know like I'm not really feeling that challenge then I'll all up the uh, difficulty which I'm sure you should be able to do if you aren't we'll see 
Okay, so I did just confirm I can change difficulty later. So we're going to start on Hurt Me Plenty, get through the tutorials. If there seems to be a lack of challenge, we're bumping it up to Ultra Violence. Uh, apparently, the only ones you can't change in the middle is Nightmare and Ultra Nightmare. But since it looks like these are locked... Uh, no. Okay, so this one's not. This one is. Should have known because of the lock sign. But, again, first time playing through, I'm going to start off on Hurt Me Plenty, probably go up to Ultra Violence later on. So without further ado, let's do. They are rage. Brutal. Without mercy. But you, you will be worse. Rip and tear until it is done. This is, this is quite the beginning we have here. Just right off the bat, no. I mean, well, I thought it was going to have tutorials. Nah, it's just, check this gun out, go kill him. What is going on? like an altar what to me to contain this is is that me are you trying to contain me what's going on here <laughs> am i a monster maybe i was meant to become one of those things i'm digging this i like the intensity of it there's just blood everywhere this is this is awesome demonic invasion in progress so are they demons or are they created? Okay, this is interesting. All right, definitely demons. I, I can I can tell now, demons. Okay, that's that's crazy. Nice high tech helmet. Apparently nobody knows anything. What's going on? Cannot determine the cause of the demonic invasion until the Resop satellite is brought back online. Alright, so it seems like we already have our first mission. Alright, guy, get in there. Welcome. We need some repairs done. I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. I'm the head of this facility. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. We don't have much Well, somebody's mad. Okay. Is that a skull? Oh, shit. Oh, no, that, okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. I like these graphics. This is some nice graphics. What? It, it's charging up? Does this mean it's going to be a big shot? Oh, I think it was. Oh, what is this? What is this? Glory kills. Dealing damage to demons will cause them to stagger, which is indicated by blue highlight. Oh! Oh, no! So it looks like I got infinite ammo with this, too quite the way to die okay is there like do you loot the bodies or anything like that or is it just no okay well, let's keep going what is this press e oh is this like my first real weapon here we go tab to view 
Combat shotgun. Okay. Okay, I, I get it. It's probably just basically a shotgun. Okay, so I did a little bit of research in the tab menu and was able to find out that there's a map I can use. There's weapon upgrades that I can do. Uh, suit upgrades that I can do. And I went over that tutorial that I looked at earlier, which basically just means um, I can stagger opponents. And if I do... Uh, they turn blue, and I can run up to them, and they'll turn orange, and then I can hit F and do apparently a glory kill, which sounds like it'd be just a really cool, you know, fatality. And uh, glory killing demons will always drop health, so if you're low on health, you definitely need them glory kills. So, let's go ahead and continue this. Oh, you! Hello, handsome. Demonic presence at unsafe levels. Lockdown in effect. Oh, that just went through all of them. Okay, so this already, it might be just because it's the first level, but it's already feeling a little easy. So, I might be switching up difficulties soon enough here. I do like this pistol though. It's got unlimited ammo. This is actually a charged up shot, and it looked like I killed like two of them in one shot there. So I think that's it. I just don't want to miss anything. Let's, let's, let's check this out. Oh, what is that? I'm a, I think that was ammo for my shotgun. Yeah. Oh, and that was shield I just picked up. So, I think I'm really getting this out. So these blue ones, that blue is health. Green is shield. I think that's shield at least. And then these guys are ammo. And definitely everything is satanic and demonic. And honestly, that is awesome. Oh, well, this is this just something beautiful. Oh, wait, did that just spawn somebody? No, huh? No, okay. This, this, this has got to be actually some of the coolest graphics I've really ever played on. This is awesome. Oh! It just, whoa! He just tossing fire at me. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh! Oh, those explode! Alright, alright, come on! Bring it on! Oh, glor glory kills are where it's at. There we go. Took him out. Low on shotgun shells, though. So let me go grab some. Alright, traveling down the hallway. Here we go. Oh, hello. You cannot be allowed to leave this place. <laughs> everything. Are you talking about me? Man, looks like you guys ruined yourself. I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but you must understand. Our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Everything has clearly gotten out of hand now, yes. But it was worth the risk, I assure you. Oh, 
That was awesome. Dude! And then it's metal music. I mean, come on. It's like this dub metal music. I love it. Oh! That was on key. Alright. So I'm a Doom Marine, essentially, and I'm guessing that means I come out and take care of these guys. Okay, so, just came out of there, but this seems pretty sketchy. Let's, let's just go for the jump. Alright. Climbed up here, and we got, like, this little tablet. Codex Entry. Okay, so this seems to be giving us a little bit of backstory of what the hell is going on here, literally. So, despite the discovery of liquid water on Mars in the early 21st century, that's like around now, the colonization of Mars had little appeal beyond exploration for the next century, so we are on Mars right now. That explains the redness. With the discovery of the Argent Fracture, a transdimensional stream of unrefined argent plasma in 2095, settling and mining Mars became both practical and essential to meet the vast energy demands of Earth. Blah 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 blah. Basically, it's just telling us where we are, what the hell we're doing on Mars, you know, which is basically they found a new energy source to give to the people of Earth, us. And that's why they're here mining it, basically, and they kind of made certain areas hospitable. But does this look hospitable to you? It looks pretty damn destroyed. Is the fire hurting me? I walk in the flames. Oh my god. Oh, oh! Okay. You guys didn't see that up. I... I don't know why. I didn't think I was taking damage. <laughs> I, I just, I figured there would be like some like animation of like, you're getting hurt, dude. But I guess I just should have looked at the health bar to make sure. We won't let that happen again. So it looks like we got a couple of these guys around here. They kind of just sneak your ass around. I don't think that they know I'm here. I don't know if there's any sort of like stealth icon like... Like I know some games are meant to play, be played a little, you know, sneaky. But uh, I don't know about this one. So I might just see what I can do here. Cause I know I need to get down there. I know I need to do that because there's really nowhere else for me to go. Okay, so it's official. You can be sneaky. Well, let's see. Does does he discover the body? Do they have like intelligence like that? No, he's just walking through his friend. Okay. So we gotta get the ones in the back that nobody's paying attention to. Like I don't think that guy. Yeah. I mean they're being noisier, but I think we're still fine here. Oh, that was a horrible shot. Come on. So I just thought of this, and maybe it's not because it's a stealth game that they don't notice, but maybe it's just because I'm so far away there's nothing they can do. So they just, maybe the game just doesn't recognize the ability of being able to do anything. So, oh, we got another guy. Come on. Oh, I missed. Come on. Oh, oh, he's gonna leave. Nope. Oh, did I, I, I think I got him. I think, I think I got him. Um, oh, no, the, let's get back. Uh, I should have been paying attention. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna wait for him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him this time. All right, another one bites the dust. 
Alright, let me think here. I think we're good. I did see one, like, hopping around around here, which is pretty sketchy. But, I think otherwise, I think if there's anybody else, I can take them on. So. Oh, look. More armor. Where? Oh, this dude's got a gun! Oh! 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 Oh, no! Okay, so this makes me feel like I should have tried to stealth it out a little bit. Oh! Oh no! I think that's it. Oh! Oh god. I'm dead. Okay, so I think those are the dudes that all came after me. Oh my god. So they're running over there. But where did they all come from? How did they just like, as soon as I got down there, they just all popped up out of nowhere. Okay, so I'm going to snipe these guys real quick. Okay, doesn't take much to kill those guys. I don't need to do the full charge. Well, I can't destroy those. Oh. Okay, so this is this is the sketchy part. Is if I get down, I'm just gonna be flooded with people. I feel like they all come from these things, but I don't think that there's a way to take those things out. Okay, so it seems like there's no way for me to destroy these things. So it looks like I'm just going to have to power through those guys. Let's do it. Oh, yep. See, they just get summoned. Okay. So glory kill is kind of like a shortcut to kill these guys. but if another one came up on me, I'd be screwed. Don't run. Where are you running? What am I too good for you now? Come back here. Come on. I saw you. Well, you can't fight a dude with a pistol? That's what I thought. Oh. Checkpoint reached, okay. That must be I took them all out. Oh, that was, that was actually a pretty good little battle. I, I, I'd say that was pretty decent, if I do say so myself. I think, 
I need to take advantage of these things because yeah those uh those could really help me out I mean even if I'm far away I mean can I find another one okay yeah so if like I saw one down there I just boom take out like three right there so let's I've been looking at this guy I don't know what he does let's let's check him out Oh, hell a shield. Okay, I gotta remember, it's just green. Green is armor. Green is armor, blue health, and we got ammo packs. Which right now, full of shotgun shells. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just see what this is real quick. Oh, find the blue access key. Okay. Were you holding it? No? I guess not. Okay. Probably this way. Oh. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got more of these guys to deal with. So let's sneak these guys out. Oh, come on. I have like the worst aim. Come on! Boom, there we go, headshot. Come on, that looked like it. This guy is like impossible to hit. Okay, cool. Just took out about three right there. What's this? Frag grenade, huh? Okay. So that's how you use it. So you do a left control, and then it recharges. So you don't have to worry about going around and picking up stuff like that. You just gotta wait for it. Which you can upgrade your suit, I guess, to uh, get it better. So I also got a little blip about secret areas, so I'm going to check the map for that. Okay, so the answer was no. There was nothing over there. So, let's just keep pressing on. They make them sound like they're so close. Shut up. options so that seems to be the direction which one should I do doesn't seem to really tell me which way it's kind of the more I want to check out the cave the cave seems less likely because that's just such an open area Let's see if we can find Is this a little secret area oh shit Oh, hello! I woke up all of your buddies! Okay. Simple enough? Okay, let's check this guy out. Area scanning technology. Okay, auto map downloaded. So does that mean I can see the whole area? Where, where did I come from? It, it does! Look at that. Right? Because, no, that's, that's where I came from. So blue, that's where I came from. So it just gave me a map of all this right that I got to go to. So that's, that's nice. Okay. So it seems like now there's less surprises. Maybe there's something over there. Maybe something over there. Something over there. Uh, it might still try to hide little areas, but I don't know though. That seems like it would be a hidden area. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna definitely need to check this stuff out. 
Let me change this. Yeah, there we go. Kind of makes things easier, but I do like both ways, honestly. Okay. Nice. That's, that was actually very useful. Not quite, you know, an upgrade or anything. Oh, wait. Maybe this is. Ah, oh, this might be a suit upgrade. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Area scanning technology. Wait, wait. These upgrades improve capabilities. Oh, so that... Did, did I just gain area scanning technology? Like, the other thing just gave it to me. Oh, okay. Oh, and I have a point. Okay, so according to this, uh, that little thing I found did give me all the maps. So that's not due to the suit upgrade. Okay, I get it. I get it. The only reason why this popped up when we got to this screen was because my mouse was on. Okay. Alright, I, I understand now. Okay, so the main thing is now I have a suit upgrade. So let, let's maybe explore some possibilities here. But it looks like I do actually have the ability. These are still locked. So use a power up to unlock these upgrades. So I need to definitely get a power up to do that. Acquire four weapons to unlock these upgrades. Okay, so I've got three, I think. I mean, if they count the grenade. Oh, that would have been good in that, that last fight. Okay, okay. I'm going to keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Environmental resistance. So, decreases explosive barrel and environmental damage taken. So, fire and barrels do less to me. The auto map reveals exploration items in a wider radius around your position. Ooh, I wonder if I go back to that thing, if it'll give me more areas. I like to explore. So, this might be nice. And then this I need two in order to upgrade. Does this work towards weapons too? Or no, that uses the other one. Okay. Uh, I think I think I'm fine on resistance to just explosive damage and things like that. So I think I'm going to go for this guy. Yeah, give me that. The compass will pulse when near secret areas. Nice. Collectible. Oh, I passed by a collectible and didn't even know it. Huh. So it seems to be it that I passed. Okay, so I'm going to go get that collectible. Aha! There you are, okay. Okay, so let's try going down here. Yeah, there we go. That's a, that's a little toy. Okay, so these don't do anything for me. These are literally just collectibles. Okay, let's, let's get, over, get back over there. Whoa! Hello! I honestly really like this pistol. This pistol seems to get the job done. As long as I can aim it. That seems to be the only small issue sometimes. Oh, I think that's a... No? What if I do a nice concentrated one? No? Okay. Safe barrels. That's got a grenade on it, so actually, I think that means if I'm out of a grenade, I can just come back there.
traps don't seem to be bothering me too much now. I think if I get through this area and it's still kind of meh, I might up it. I mean, I'm going to die more often, but I think it's going to be more fun and more challenging. But let me, let me get through this area first just to make sure. So I don't think I can just dive bomb that. Oh, just check the map. Oh, wait, there it is. Okay. It seems so far. It wasn't that bad. Combat support drone. Weapon modifications, user loadout. Oh, okay, okay. So field drones will supply you with weapon mods that can be activated by using the weapon mod button. Choose which mod you want and it will be attached to your weapon. Use weapon upgrade points to improve the capabilities. Oh, and this is for my shotgun. Okay, so I do I get to choose? Okay, so uh, let's see what we got. So we got the charged burst. Hold the weapon mod button to upgrade to three round burst with tighter spread. So it's pretty much like the pistol, but with the shotgun. Explosive shot. Looks like kind of like a grenade launcher kind of thing. To charge up an arcing explosive round. That might be nice, but I do have grenades, so... that out of the way. What are these upgrades? Speedy recovery, rapid fire, quick load. Speedy recovery, bigger boom, instant load. Um, I think I'm honestly going to go with the charged burst because that's kind of the only reason why I really go with the pistol besides actually it's kind of long range which I'm sure I can fix later. So let, let, let's go with this guy. Wait, he just... Give me that shit. That's mine. So we got. Oh shit. Oh, okay. And then there's a reload time. Oh, so okay. Quick load, but reload is not fast. Let's grab that. Whoa, don't fall. Okay. Let's say press E. Okay, so this thing's just kind of give a little bit more lore, that's about it. Take this. Come on. Try me. Could have swore there was one more guy. Oh, there he is. Another checkpoint reached, so I figure. Means I got him on. Don't don't do that. Don't do me like that. Oh wait, there's an area up here. Which is well here we go. you get shit done. Yeah, it does it for those guys, but I don't want to get 
back up there, check out that area. Seems to be a few different ways I can kind of go. Let's take this way. Oh, oh. Seems like a nice little area. Come on, give me a weapon upgrade. Shit! Give me a weapon upgrade. Tells me that there is definitely something, and I see. I think I see. I see a cave. Let's see what we can do here. Come on, let me up here. No, 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 no. There we go. Oh, I missed it. There we go. Aha! It said that there's two per level. Oh, and those give you. Those give you weapon upgrades. I think. I think that's how you get weapon. Weapon upgrade points. By completing mission challenges, finding secrets, and increasing your combat rating, you will earn weapon upgrade points. So it's an over the time kind of thing. Whereas the suit is you actually gotta go find other suits to upgrade from. So basically kick ass, you'll be rewarded. So two options here. We can go for decrease the time it takes to power up when you charge any shot. Or reduce the recharge time between bursts. Now, see, I would go this way because I really do like the pistol, but I know I'm going to get a weapon later. I know I'm going to get a weapon later that's just going to... Why do I even need a pistol? So, I think I'm going to go for this guy. There we go. So now I can use that more often. i am just got to say, this fucking... The soundtrack is killer. Okay. I'm starting to get a little confident now. I feel like I could bustle through a little bit of this. shotgun. I'm out of my shotgun. It's all pistol. It's pistol, baby. It's pistol time. Come on. Come on. Try me. Yeah, that's right. That looks like the next area. Let's explore this just real quick. Okay, so I don't think I found anything. So we're gonna go ahead and go up here. Sounds like an alarm going off in there. I think I saw something down here too. Oh! Is that explosions? Explosions means fighting. I'll take them on. Do I have any ammo? I do. I got the shotgun to back me up. Ooh, I just jumped in here by accident. Full health, full ammo, everything. Nice. I wonder what's over in that one. Let's go find it. Nothing. And, oh, wait. 
there's a second one. Oh, that's got even more. Damn, if I really needed to heal up, these things got them. Okay, let's check the map before we go to this next area. I think once I get to this next area, we're gonna call it good for today. Okay, let's, let's see. We got another fight in here. Seems like they're kind of like trying to fill you back up, get you ready for the next area. Welcome to the UAC. Now 221 accident free days. <laughs> well, you could tell that that was put there for irony. God rested on the seventh day, but imagine how much further along we would be if he hadn't. The UAC is committed to excellence. That's why we implemented the seven day work week. Now you can achieve greatness alongside your co-workers every day. Let's never stop achieving. Seven day work week. I could tell they're just like putting this as like the worst. Y you're not going to be happy. Okay, so I think this is where we're going to stop it. I think that uh, this was a nice little area to kind of uh, heal back up, get us ready. I think that when we come back next week, I am definitely... Not well, definitely, but uh, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm going to upgrade. I'm, I'm going to raise my difficulty up. Yeah, I think I got the handle of the mechanics, how it works. I think I'm ready for a little bit more challenge because I don't think I could die that often. And I don't mind dying. Dying just means I need to try harder. So, I will see you guys God later. On the seventh day. Imagine how much further along we would be if he hadn't. 